Welcome Yo. back to another episode of the Little Brown Boys Podcast. You already know that's Pancho on Frankie. Today's episode, uh, we got a care package from the homies at Good Market Distro. We got a care package of chips, Hondurenian chips, with that shit right there. The with what? some fucking energy drink from fucking Machu Picchu Island. And then the taqueritos, wait. These are fucking Central American takis, but you already know, a little, a little less restricted. You feel me? I feel that. <laughs> no yeah. regulation. It might have a little test in there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you might you might feel a little weird. <laughs> a little pep. But time. Um, shout out to the homies at Good Market Distro. They do wholesale distributions for Central American snacks. If you're into that shit, hit them up and get yourself uh, right with them, bro. This little character package is dope as f- uh, We appreciate the love, dog. And you already know. Super excited for this episode, guys. We got some crazy shit to talk about. But before we get too into it, I would like to ask you guys for a like, drop a comment. You know, it's all free. If you don't know what to comment, just put a little beer emoji. Yeah, you know, put a little chela. The no. ones that are crashing together. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We're trying to get to the top and we need your help. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and yeah. think about it. You yeah. Know? They, hey, you know, all it takes is a little click, dog. A little click. The other day, way I was listening to Britney Spears. Oh, and I know a lot of foods are there going to be like, what? Like nah, dog. Sometimes you gotta go back and listen to the classics. Right? Yeah, yeah. The hit, hit me, baby, one more time. Ow. Like, remember <laughs> when music did that? When music went, ow, ow. <laughs> yeah. wah, 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 wah. whatever. Yeah, well, yeah, I was yeah. listening to it and I was like, damn, it was fire. Fool. Britney Spears was fire. Wait. Top of the top. Think about what we got today. Fool, sexy red man. That I'm Asco, or like Taylor Swift, right? Ta- yeah, nothing, nothing on Britney, dog. The music videos of Britney Spears fool were next level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, they, that's when chairs doing dances with chairs was a thing. You know what it is too—the nostalgia. Way. Yeah. Sometimes fool. you're not even listening to the song for the song; you're listening to the song for that feeling. Yeah. That feeling of where you were when that song came out. Yeah. We we're probably in elementary or something. And those days were crazy, bro. When TRL was yeah, cracking. Man. So you listen to the song and you're like, yeah, you feel something. Because back in the day, you weren't, or maybe you were, but like, you weren't listening to the song. You didn't have, you didn't burn a CD with Britney Spears, Hit Me Baby, number, like you're not yeah, putting that yeah, on yeah, a yeah. CD, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But now when you hear it, it, it has a different value because of what it makes you feel like. Right, right. Like I'm over here tripping on like how the music industry was at that point. It was evil still, but it was evil behind closed doors. Right, right, right. Now we got these motherfuckers like straight up just being evil out here. I mean, like Kanye's going against big music industries just solo dolo, showing uh screenshots of text messages. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which I think is raw as fuck, right? Yeah. You would think he'd be in front of the camera trying to be crazy like he usually is, but he's just like Wow, screenshot hey, handles. It's because he's he's gone too far where everything has to be transparent at this. Yeah. At this. The it's only like, thing that's not transparent is the conversations he's having like behind closed doors. I, where, I, where he's like, no phones, no nothing. Let's go talk. I'm doing my room. like I'm doing my part way. Like to I think uh Justin Timberlake dropped a tiny desk. I'm not watching that because I'm like I'm I'm all Britney Spears out right now. So. Okay, that's your. I know best. it doesn't look like it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm Britney Spears out. I feel it. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I looked at her. I was like I said, I was watching her music video full, and I was looking at her facial expressions, and she's in it, dog. Like in it to win it. Like yeah. I'm I'm Britney, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, have you have you seen her new? Videos? And that's what I'm saying, fool. I saw her new ones, and I'm like, damn, G, what happened, baby? What is that? She got hit one more time. <laughs> She and got little, hit hard. Yeah, a little hard. A little too hard, bro. A little boo. hard. But then I'm like, Justin has something to do with it too, wait. Loki. Justin, like, she came out and was like, that fool got me pregnant and that fool. Oh, yeah, yeah. She was yeah. fucked that fool since like 2006. And then, like, he made her get in a smush yeah. or something. Yeah, like that. fool. And it's like, I'm just looking at that fool. I'm like, you dog. I used, to, I used to love bringing sexy back. Yeah. And not, not, no not no more, fool. Fuck that fool, dog. Serio, JT, what's up? Run my face. Hasta luego. <laughs> but it's crazy, fool. Like I feel it, yeah. It makes me think, like, yeah, dog. Like now, music, music industry is like evil, like openly, and and even other fools are coming out and say it. like, like the former uh, CEO of Power One Hundred Six. Mm-hmm. He's like coming out and making all. <laughs> it's funny how, how you can just come out and and make content out of it. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. But that fool straight out said like how radio and all these pla- uh, streaming platforms. 
they want to get rid of the personal touch of what is the music industry. So, like, remember Big Boy? Yeah. Like, Big Boy is, is a thing of the past. Way. Remember Pukui Way de la Mañana? Yeah. All you, that. All that shit is going to be gone for us. It's just going to be straight streaming AI shit. And Hold on, bro. You're going too fast. Right yeah, now. I know because I'm excited yeah. about talking shit about this, yeah, bro. Yeah. Because it's about that fucking time, big dog. Yeah. And yeah, you better take notes because I'm a, I'm a one-hit wonder, way. Everything that's flowing right now is not going to flow again, way. <laughs> I'm a one-hit wonder, big dog. All right, let's go back to Britney Spears, dog, because she made some cracking music videos. Yeah. it's it's It sucks that she was so famous so early, dog. She was like probably 16 when she was cracking. Yeah, for By 18, she was top of the top. Now... For She's, Britney Spears was Disney a Disney child before hitting the music stage, right? Britney so, was Disney Channel after dark. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, and then with that skirt. I feel I feel so bad with it. You see her back then popping? Yeah. Hit me baby one more time. Yeah. You see the video she's doing now, bro? I watch and I go, Oh yeah. There's something there, bro. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's is she sober? <laughs> Like, or she's just smoking she, she, cigarettes. She needs the Heineken Zero Zero sponsor, dog. She's just smoking cigarettes doing videos with yeah. the fucking swords or like she had like little weapons. And yeah, she's like fully. in like low rise she's, underwear. <laughs> she's, trying, she's trying to bring back everything that she, that like, she started with. She looks like, like, like when you crush a can, but like <laughs> only half ways. Like only half ways, like you don't crush it all the way, it's just half ways. Yo. She looks like that. You, like, cause she hit, um, she did that music video with the snake. And now she doesn't have access to snakes. Yeah. Right? So she got swords. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, but like, what is that? Like, all right. I, all empathy, whatever. Yeah. Right now, all yeah, empathy. Yeah. But like, what is that? Is, is she doing drugs? You no, think she's fool. on like, you think she's on like, or is not on. How much more can you squeeze from a lime way? Think about that. Like, once you start squeezing too hard, the lime pulps start to fall out, right? Yeah, and you yeah. starting to get a fucked up juice, <laughs> yeah. right? Did you, have you ever That's seen somebody? Britney, have you ever seen somebody <laughs> eat the lime all the way to the cascara? Oh, uh, that. Where that, they turn the lime. That's have, the music industry. They wait. turn the lime inside out. <laughs> that's the CEO. And they're fucking ripping the, the fucking thing with the fibers with their fucking mouth. Yeah, right that's there. British Spears is the lime way. She's all tecata. And, mu- and fucking the music industry flipped her inside out and yeah. did that. Just, She's all tecata. Right now. Yeah, for damn, bro. Because I see her, I'm like, oh, she's doing meth. Yeah, she gives me meth vibes. Is that fucked up? It is fucked up, fool. Because like I said, fool, I'm like, sorry. if you go back, if you go back, like like nostalgia, right? Which is a valid sell point too. Because you listen to music way and you're like, fire. That's I remember when that song came out. Mm-hmm. If you go back and you do that with Britney and and the comparison, there is literally zero to compare with. The talent's gone. The fucking the moves are gone. The sanity's gone. The sanity. And, and the momentum of the flow of of chain of song, of bangers is gone. The sanity. And now, compare the two to Kanye. Except Kanye has a little bit of more sasson. He's holding on. He's for holding dear on, life. fool. For dear life, he's holding on. <laughs> except he has no swords, wait. Yeah, he's just... He's just <laughs> he just, got a, he just a, needs swords. He's got a puffy jacket, you know? Kanye dresses like he's ready to go to war with Britney. You know, like, she got the swords, he's got the puffy jacket. You know, you like, know the new Godzilla movie? Uh, Godzilla, where, like, Godzilla teams up with Kong? They need to do that. Oh, I don't cry. They, they need to team up and go against fucking industry. Wait. Yeah, so, yeah, the industry. You said that radio personality is out the door. Now they're trying to get rid of the human touch? Or yeah, the, fool. The, what? the human presence of music. AI type shit? Yeah, fool. Like, you're just going to make music and not be present. In the showmanship of it. Put it on our platform and keep it moving. Right, 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 right. Like, you're not going to be able to make a million dollars out of your banger no more. So you're going to make 10 bucks and we're going to make the million dollars and we're going to let you know if we need you or not. Right, Because we're going to put it, because everybody heard it already. There's two crazy things right now that we're talking about. Yeah. The streamers and the human touch. Because I haven't, I have a thought. I think, I think the streamers like Spotify have artists in the sickest MLM. Right now, like Herbalife or fucking Prime oh, America or yeah. anything like that, where they're okay. like, where they're like, we need you to sign up to our shit and then move product and then bring bring like five more clients or right. bring or you gotta recruit. And that's why when you sign into as a as a creator or as a as a fucking artist or whatever podcaster, all that shit, all that shit, it's contracts. Wait, you're you're signing away your art for them to use it. 
to their liking. And we're was, in the weeds right now. <laughs> yeah, we're, the, we're gonna we're bring in it up. The weeds, <laughs> but you get what I'm saying. We yeah. get what we're saying. Yes, right now. exactly, fool. Yeah, because we the, don't know shit, fool. All I know is that I can smell and see. You can smell what the rock is cooking, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I can smell and see bad business, dog. I get you. I get you. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The other, the shit that scares me though is the the human touch <laughs> bullshit that you say. Because that shit's crazy, bro. You, you just can... heard human and touch. You Tell like... that, hold on, wait. <laughs> hold on, wait. <laughs> hold, hold on, on wait. Fool, I I was low key like, yeah, we vlogged last week and we were in the studio, but I was holding on to not reaching out to you and talking to you about when everything, all this shit was cracking because. But what, but the human touch though. Hold on, I'm not done with the human touch. You were sending me these videos of how to use AI to edit clips, and use AI to fucking post, and use AI to. And a lot of people right now are using AI to create images, put it on a T-shirt, and sell it as original. Because AI right. does that. You don't need to cite your sources. Okay, it's not played. Oliver Tree. Hold you- on, hold on, <laughs> hold on. I'm ready, dog. I'm ready to shit on all of, all of these fucking people, dog. I'm fucking. I've been ranking up. Boo, you don't see me, dog? <laughs> you know, I came for war, bro. It was pent up. You know Yo, I, mean? boo, I came to duck hunt, homie. <laughs> and that duck is looking you real got nice. Your, you got your ducks lined up right now. <laughs> yeah, fool. Yeah. But like I was saying, fool, in a, in a, in a little while, in like 10 years, we're yeah. not even going to need streaming services no more. Mm-mm. You're not going to have to go on Spotify and tell Spotify to shuffle music. You're not going to do that. Spotify is going to be in your head. In your fucking and then, brain. And then it's just going to go in there. When people drop music, it's just going to be in there and it's going to know what you like. Right. So artists coming up, they don't need distribution. They just need to put their their memory card in the fucking system. Yeah. And then their shit's going to go to people that like listening to that type of music. You remember when the bootlegging community, like the fools that sold you the bootleg DVD? That was the best time that, Right? Ever. Remember that? That was and the best time. And then they flipped it. I, I knew something was weird when they started selling your USBs way. Ooh. That's what they're trying to do with artists, fool. They're trying to make them into USBs, just, just interchangeable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plug in, plug out. A hundred different thousand artists. Yeah. Like. Eject this. Eject this, dog. Eject your fucking art. Fuck out of here. Refresh. <laughs> yeah. Fool. Okay, here we go. Another one, bro. Oliver Tree, fool. That guy that sings those, like, I know. those pop songs mm-hmm, and whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's in debt with the music industry, even though he's a successful artist, because the music people are telling him like, oh, yeah, you want to make this big, extravagant uh, fucking music video? Here's the budget handles. And then the people that they assign with the budget, like the directors, the producers that come with that money, they end up being like, oh, we can't do it because we can't find someone that makes uh, a 30 foot uh, school bus. Right. And, but then. Oliver Tree's like, oh, fuck it, you know? And the fucking director's over here living in Tahiti. Mm-hmm. So now Oliver Tree has to step into not only making the music, making the video, making the fucking calls, making because he has a budget to work with, right? And he has to come out of pocket to fulfill what he wants because this fool took that money. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I feel you. Like, the music industry is just straight evil. Yeah. I think it goes for all creative, well, now content, right? Because... You can have a creative ass fool like or Oliver Tree, right? He's super creative, but he doesn't have the means to um, produce all this art, right? He needs to ask for help. He needs, like now, if let's say you start a little a little small business, bro, you can't just do your little small. Let's say your small business is quesadillas. So then, what your your idea is? Oh, let me make some money off making quesadillas so I can pay an editor, so I can pay a filmer, so I can pay yeah this. So you you kind of recycle the feria, the, the cash flow. Yeah. But then you have the lazy creators that use the simplest shit that that they scam their fans even. Right. That right. you you hear about uh, artists that sell merch, and the audience that bought the merch doesn't even get the merch till like two months later, right. three months, four months later. And at that time, the fucking person selling the merch is already fucking balling out. Yeah, fool. He's he over here. A fuck about he's over product. here with a dangly earring and a fucking you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it goes down to everything we talk about and everything that we were saying about like these pe- these new wave of influencers like Ghetto Rodeo. Now he's finally getting exposed, right? And like these new Los Angeles Times has this new fucking uh page called De Los, right? That's that shit fool that fucking makes me that twists the knife. What fool. is that? That it's some fucking creators 
getting together and and talking about heritage and culture culture in LA and they don't even speak Spanish. How do you feel about that? Fool like trying to create in the in the Los Angeles area, fool, and you don't even speak Spanish, but you're over here taking them to like La Cita Alvera. Right. Right? Like you shouldn't be there for like stop trip pretending like you grew up that on that on that level. Cause if you really did grow up going to these places and grow up being part of this fucking then you would be part of it. Not fucking a visitor in it. Like I look at fools and I'm like, you're fucking weird, bro, because that's that new age of uh fucking AI fools. I, I call they should be called AI fools because they're taking to what you want to see, to what the fucking hot thing is, right? It's the future. It's the future, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm not down with that shit, bro. And 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 I'm I'm looking at this shit fool at the Dead Los Angeles Times dog, and and all they do is highlight that. That fucking educated Latino bullshit, bro. Yeah. That fucking indigenous shit, but you're in in on Highland Park way. Mm-hmm. That's that shit, fool. That Highland Park shit. That fucking Yelp review Latino. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. four star Latino gets you mad. It gets you. It gets me hot, fool. Yeah. Like you know, right, I walk. Right. I walk the streets among these people. Mm-hmm. And and you're not gonna just fucking Yelp my shit. Mm-hmm. You can't just Yelp my shit, dog. You can't just pull up a fucking search bar and put up brown community I get popping. you, bro. Like, being sen- being the victim, being sensitive, being everything like that. Well, we didn't even play the clip. Let's play the clip. I, you just went off. I didn't even see yeah. the clip. <laughs> That's how I get it every day. I got to come right here early in the morning, 8 o'clock, post up right here and wait for them customers. See, like, my customer right there. Like, Stereo's a large window, too. Yeah, see, fool, like... These fools never went to go get tan like this, dog. Uh, yeah. They never needed. They actually, they never even had to do this because you know, their cars. You know? Because you know? I don't give a fuck. That's how I know, fool. <laughs> how do you know? This, this? is, look, this, let me tell you. Let me say something else, too. <laughs> this is our fucking platform. And we can see whatever the <laughs> fuck we want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. And fuck these kids, dog. Okay, yeah. And that's what I want to say. Like, in all the bullshit I said this whole episode... Fuck these kids, bro. Yeah, uh, they're not gonna say, they're not gonna find me in their pop ups and shit, hanging out, drinking fruity ass drinks. Yeah, there's definitely something there that bothers you. I'm trying to see what it is. It's the fucking fact that they want to kick it away. All of a sudden, they want to kick it. Weren't you guys fucking shuffling at EDC yeah, a couple years ago? That shit. That shit. Weren't you at fucking Coachella with your feathers? That's what the fuck is bothering me, Wade. Yeah. That they want to kick it all of a sudden. All you got me sudden. fucked up. The all of a sudden is The so all big. of a sudden is so crazy, fool. I get that. Yeah, I feel, yeah. Sometimes I feel like you don't know how to put it, but yeah, I think Yeah, and I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, but it's I'm duck hunting, way. I don't yeah. fucking wait till the <laughs> duck is flown away. <laughs> I'm fucking pow, pow, pow. Nah, yeah, I don't like the all of a sudden is either, bro. Yeah, bro, because it's. It's because we're in a new era, fool. This is it. Fool. It's not like it used to be no more. Now, so uh, when I see stuff, not like this, but whenever I see things that like pre- people start, right? <clears throat> people have an idea. They're like, I'm going to make content about this thing. And then they do their first video, their first two videos. Yeah. Sometimes I look at it and I'm like, how sustainable is this, bro? Like, how, how long are you going to be consistent with this concept? Right? How long is it going to last? And I'll give them credit for trying it. Yeah. Like, go ahead. Make the content. Make the shirts. Make whatever you want to make. Out of... Even if you're leeching off of something that's not yours, go ahead. Let's just... Let's just... Time will tell type shit. You know what I mean? I feel like if you build on a foundation that is not solid, later on it's going to crumble. To me, I don't get worked up about the all of a sudden is because I know these people will jump train later on. You know what I mean? Once it's not hitting... They're going to be on the new fad. Yeah. And this is it. We're just in the middle of this fad. Right. That is the this. Whatever you want to call it. Whatever the, the fuck this is. The, the Chicano Revolution. You know? <laughs> First we had the Stone Age. Then we had the Industrial Revolution. <laughs> this is the Chicano Revolution. And we're in the middle of it, bro. Yeah. I feel and, weird, and it, and it irks. It irks because it's like they're picking at us. Like the, yeah. the seagulls are just like. There like trying go. to get on our like get on our shit that we grew up with that that we empathize with, and people just want to put microphones in people's faces. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like oh, como se like if if they could come up to somebody and they said, "Cómo se siente usted hoy?" would be so much better 
Then, hey, we're here in downtown LA where we get our, our local threads from our local fucking... That would be so much better than that, you know? Just if they can relate a 1%, that'd be fire. But they can't, fool. And that's what is so sad about this, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? I saw a clip of a podcast. Yeah. They were bitching about the trenza being... They were bitching. <laughs> they were bitching about the trenza being appropriated by Kendall Jenner. Yeah. When she was selling the tequila and she was like on the horse with the trenzas and they're like, that's our estilo and shit. They were just saying how back then they would be like, oh, don't dress like that. Like hoop earrings and like, you know, yeah, like, yeah, the niña, yeah. And now that everybody's doing it, they're like, that's our shit. Yeah. And, but that's what I'm doing with this because that's my shit way. I love going to this spot. Fool. I've been going there since like I was eight years old and shit. You know what I mean? And I've been saying what's up to the same old people that I still fuck with that are, sadly are getting older. But it's like, I remember when people would be like, oh, I want some something for my car. And I'd be like, I got you. I know the perfect spot. You know? Mm -hmm. And now it's the, it's a fucking the hottest content. Yeah. Fuck out of here, I think bro. this is where me and you disagree. I think this is our biggest disagreement ever. Wow. Because I don't, I go ahead. That's how I feel. I, I'm like, do it. Yeah, do all of it. Because that, that gatekeeping shit, I don't like. I don't like gatekeeping people. Like this whole, don't do this, I grew up there shit. I don't give a fuck. Go do it. Yeah. Be, be, do it. I don't care. Trenzas, everybody get trenzas. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I can't wait till all the earth of the people is just beige and just fucking we're all everything. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like this yeah. whole, I'm this, you're that. Like, yes, no, red, blue, all that. Black, white, Mexican. Fuck all that, bro. Like, what are we talking about? Honestly, you know, because I also have a little bit of that sentiment, like, don't touch my shit. You know, like, this is my shit. Yeah. I feel that. But I, I also feel like, oh, you think you, you, this is your shit too? <laughs> All right. Go for it. Do it. Yeah. Be, so. be that. And then, and we'll talk later type shit. You know, it's like, why are we bitching about trenzas? Dog, trenzas are whack anyway. Okay. So this is how I, <laughs> that's how I feel about everything. Bro. Yeah, Everything's yeah. whack anyway, bro. <laughs> Do it. Do everything. I don't give a fuck. So Yo ando de pelo suelto, dog. <laughs> All right? This is what I think was the perfect representation. Yes. Of this, this shit makes me right happy. Right here. This is the perfect representation of what I fucking see, bro. That's the, the Delos foods. The fucking meditation <laughs> foods versus the foods at the beach. You guys weren't here. See, that's what that's that's kind of the point I'm making, right? Right. Like, oh, you want to retire in Mexico? But get ready. Go for it. Yeah. Go, go. Go retire in Mexico. If you're not actually from there, you're gonna there's a learning curve. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And that is a learning that is learning curve example number one. You're right. You're totally right. There's gonna be some learning curves, you know? Just like that fool getting tinted windows is gonna pay a buck fifty when it's really 80 bucks. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? And then he's going to tell his homie, hey, these fools got camera gear. They, yeah. And they're going to be like, hey, they left it on fucking 116th way. And then they're going to be like, where's my camera gear? Hey, where's my camera? <laughs> and there you go. And then, keep going. To go. Da keep going. That's what I'm saying. And keep going, dog. This shit makes me happy, though, because it's like, what do you, what do you think you're doing? You know, it's just like, like you know, there's no Yelp review for beachfront properties. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't be like, oh, we're going to throw this event beachfront venue. There's no Yelp that says, yeah, don't do the, the thing here because there's musicals. They didn't fucking know. <laughs> on you, Tuesdays, there's musicals. And on Wednesdays, there's Silverados. <laughs> you know what? If I was down there. With the banda, and I'm paying for banda. I got my toes in the sand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I would do? I'll play the same song like over, over and over yes. and over. Otra vez. Yeah, you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Que se oiga. Yeah. You know, yeah, and yeah. then if the competition banda passes by, I'll be like, come through. Yeah. All you guys together. <laughs> Otra vez. <laughs> and, yeah. and sing it that way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dog. Dog. Oh my god You could just tell By like the video How angry they are too yeah. Cause they're all like Huddled yeah. <laughs> Like they're trying to Beat the noise By meditating harder yeah. <laughs> yeah, I low key tried to do that The other day bro I ain't gonna Yesterday Saturday uh, I woke up Saturday I, I I went in the cold plunge Or whatever Yeah And as soon as I got out of the cold plunge The Jehovah Witnesses Pulled up Oh shit And so now I'm like That's how I'm, you all dripped out I'm freezing Yeah I'm dripping 
I'm freezing. I'm in the chair and the sun's out. So I'm like facing the sun. Got my face at the sun. And I know they were like knocking on everybody's door. So I'm like right there like, don't bother me, right? <laughs> so I'm like looking at the sun, meditating. <laughs> I'm meditating way. I'm, I'm fucking quote unquote meditating. And I'm just like, if I just stand right here, like I'm meditating, they're not going to bother me, right? Like spirituality recognizes spirituality. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> game recognize game. <laughs> I thought it was going to work, fool. Uh... So I was there, fool, looking at the sun for like 10 minutes, fool. <laughs> And I'm thinking they're leaving. They're Just leaving. Birdie, yeah, your red does. Yeah, they're done already. They're done. They're leaving. And what do I hear? Buenos dias. And some fucking guy interrupts my meditation. Way. So I play the part. Because in my head, I'm thinking they're going to recognize that I'm doing my own fucking spirituality. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? But nah, this fool had the balls to be like, I got to spread I'm, the word. I got to fucking recruit, he dog. fucking spread the word, dog. The church said they need so, five more today. Yeah, yeah fool. So then, so then he's, he interrupts me. He's like, hey, what was he asking? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so I fucking, I, I give it like two seconds and I snap out of it. Wow. Like, I look at him like, what's your problem? Yeah. Kind of. You know, I give him the eyes like, what was he asking? Yeah. You know, and he's like, uh, quería decirle por qué no, murió, no. por qué murió Jesús, you know this? And I'm like, gracias. And like straight, like dead face, right? Yeah. Gives me the flyer, I take and, it, and I'm like, gracias. And then he's like, let, let me. He takes the fucking flyer back <laughs> to to open it and show me the time and the date <laughs> and the fucking address. <laughs> and I'm like, gracias, right? And then he's like, all right, here's your your flyer. I'm like, gracias. And then I get it back, and he's like. All right, I'm like, gracias. <laughs> hey, hey, but he, he cut it short, dog, because he knew I wasn't fucking with him. Yeah. You know? I, I thought about it. I was like, do I give them the time of day and talk about religion? You yeah. know, do, do I want a podcast with this guy right now? <laughs> and like, I would have just Joe Rogan his ass real quick. Like, and how do you know? Like, <laughs> like what, what, what data do you have that supports that claim? Oh you my know? God, but bro. I was like, you know what? Nah, I don't want to do that right now. All he knows is that it's at 8 a.m. on Pacifically. And I'm thinking about going. <laughs> so he did his job. You know what I'm saying? I got a little thing against Jehovah Witness, bro. Yeah. Not the fact that he interrupted my meditation. I'll tell you what I got a problem with. Yeah. When I went to Europa on this year, past year, they always had the fire posadas right there where my grandma lives, dog. Yeah. This year? No posadas. The posadas were low-key weak. So I asked my tia, what's going on right here? Why are the posadas not up to par? And she goes, it's los, los testículos de Jehová right here. <laughs> los testículos. So I got a little thing. I got a little itch to scratch with them motherfuckers. Dog. Yeah, they bro. took the posadas from something. Yeah. They took they took your joy and shit. They could keep their faith, but can I keep the posadas? Yeah. Hey, you should go and conquer them back. And you know what they turn do? Up. They, they clap a lot inside the house. Yeah, you should go and get, have pamphlets that you're going to just throw fire yeah. and we welcome you. Yeah. And then start pointing That's at what the, I'm gonna do. the date and the time and the location. I'm going to pull up. And when they're praying and they're in, when they're in it, I'm going to be like, hey, good morning. <laughs> right in the middle of fucking. And I'll be like, have you tried co-plunging and looking at the sun and meditating? <laughs> have you heard of block breathing? That's when you inhale for four seconds, hold for four seconds, exhale for four seconds, and then hold just, for four seconds. We will actually welcome you to the Joe Rogan experience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah and I'm going to just set, I'm going to send them links. <laughs> To a podcast that are fire. <laughs> just subscribe. Yeah. Fuck your prayer, G. <laughs> yeah, bro. I know we say, yo, I know we say a lot of jokes in my mother's way, but a lot of funky shit's going on, bro. A, a lot, lot of funky, funky shit. shit, bro. And yeah. I'm not with it. And like, that's the thing too. A lot of fools aren't even like, they're not even talking about the funky shit. They're just accepting it, way. Right. When the fuck it has uh, dressing up like a, like a fucking... Edgar been cool for it's still not cool. I mean, but it's happening. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. A lot of funky shit, dog. And, and and it's cool to see that shit getting exposed. And that fool too. That I know where you get a lot of foods on the live when we go live talking about ghetto rodeo and shit. Hey, weren't we fucking talking about how like exactly like we were talking we were talking shit and it's exactly what's happening to that fool. Yeah, finally getting exposed and the truth comes to light. Yeah, fool. You know what I'm saying? In that how long, wild, how long can you keep it up? Is the question. They caught red-handed stealing designs, comparing the both, doing bullshit movidas way. Just, what is that saying? Fake it till you make it. Fake it till you make it, dog. 
there's a lot of a lot of funky shit going on, bro, and and it makes you think what is really going on. I, I noticed on X, yeah, that there's a lot of porn stars dropping like flies. That's so like fucking crazy. Comas and overdoses, fatalities. Who are they fucking? Like quick though, like in the last three months, like six of them went down. I'm like. Do they know something we don't? That's what I'm saying. Who are they fucking? What if they got picked to go to a party? They end up smashing the guy or the girl and they know something. They know something we don't. And they're like, you know what? I got to get out of here before she gets crazy. Yeah. The first thing I thought of was like, oh, the sex robots. Like they're killing themselves. They're depressed that their profession is coming to an end. Yeah. How much longer are we going to pay or indulge in? And do that to actual human sex workers before it's all fucking robots. Yeah, for you ever you ever seen those sex toys? The new sex toys are scary. Yeah. They're like fucking like they're like jetpacks. You know what's scarier <laughs> than the actual sex toy or the, the sex robot? Oh like I can understand uh, like a pocket pussy, right? Yeah. But the fool that worships the pocket pussy is even scarier, fool that thinks nothing is wrong with it. The fool that takes it to church. The fool that actually takes pictures with him. Yeah. With it. Like my lady. <laughs> you know, like my lady. Oh, I thought you I said. I got to go home because my lady's mad at me. And you find out his lady's a robot. The, the fool that meal preps for his lady and it's a robot. <laughs> Look at this fool, bro. That's crazy. So we're, yeah, I saw I saw Frankie Vinnie Mac 1987. And this guy, all love to him. Props 100. I'm happy he's happy. But his lady is artificial. Yeah, no. And not only that, fool. Like, this is... in, in it all intersects. Like, love is love. Fuck you. It intersects, way. Like... Intersex. It intersects, dog. Like, this fool photoshops himself with his... Himself. Yeah. You feel me? And that's the... Inserting your, yourself in places that you don't belong. Like... Living this virtual shit, fool. Yeah, this fool made an Instagram for his lady. Keep in mind, his lady's a robot. And then he made her an Instagram. And then he's like, why hasn't my girl replied to me? <laughs> when he's running the Instagram, you know, like. he's His lady's mad at him, but it's him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, fool. That's, that's the fucking crazy as shit dog and he poses her and he like he puts her in bed way yeah now, oh i just got oh and he's reading britney spears oh my god <laughs> after a hard day from work i took a quick shower and my lady km vinnie's wife gf was laying in bed and asked me may i please listen to your heartbeat i looked at her and asked would you like me to read to you oh brandy enjoys god. me reading stories to her I read a chapter from The Woman in Me by Britney Spears. This is you or no? No, All fuck right. you, dog. <laughs> I may not be the best reader, but she loves my voice. We cuddle and enjoy spending time together in any other loving couple. Everyone deserves love, especially people like Brandy. And I fuck with that. Yeah? Love is love, way. Fuck. Let her, he looks happy, way. You don't think he's happy? Something he probably eats happy meals. Something, something's not right with this guy. Uh, obviously. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> we were so like deep that we don't even know how to climb out right yeah. now. <laughs> I'm fucking trying to figure it out right now. <laughs> Come on, funny man. <laughs> it's just, I don't even know, fool. Like, how do you feel about this against uh, fake uh, Olivera Street content? Oh, uh, it, 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 It's the same thing. It's this. It's fake. They're both fake. How long can he keep it up? How, he how long probably can he keep, keep it, up? it up longer? Uh, yeah, because he's mentally ill and it's obvious, right? These guys are trying to pretend and and lie their their asses off into <laughs> fucking into stardom way. <laughs> and this fool at least is like, yo, he's fucking crazy, <coughs> you know? Yeah, this is getting out of hand, bro. Funky it's only, ass. It's only gonna get worse. Funky ass fools with this funky ass business, dog. Yeah, and like the whole. Porn, sex, those Every, girls, the, the sex stuff. Yeah, for, even it's on getting, Twitter, on it's Twitter, getting crazy. On on X, on Twitter, whatever you want to call it, people are like not even uh, sad for them. 
or some fools are like, fuck that. Like, you know what I mean? Like yeah. the vulgarness and shit. I have a beef against fake content creators, like the ones that we talk about, India as a whole nation. And um, and that's it. That's but <laughs> <laughs> but like in the ex Twitter world, these fools have no remorse way. Like they died and and I think Luis J. Gomez is like trying to make bits out of it. Yeah, but the reality, obviously. yeah. But it's at the same time, it's like fuck, bro. These porn stars, they probably did some crazy shit for some. It, it just intersects. Wait, I don't even know. That is the end. <laughs> All right, let's get the fuck out of here. All right, guys, it's been a fun one once again. Thank you so much for tuning in. Go ahead, drop a like, please. Yeah, and then uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.